Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today we are sharing the sad news of the passing of a highly revered cleric in Nigeria. The founder of the Fountain of Life Church at Ilupeju, Lagos State, his name was Pastor Taiwo Dukoya. And according to the church, uh, he died in the United States of America on Monday at the age of 67. Though the church didn't disclose how he passed on, but then some newsmen gathered that uh, the respected preacher had uh, health issues mainly triggered by personal tragedies and this was revealed by the nations and a source close to the family had said he really didn't get over the losses he suffered he tried to be strong but there's a limit to what a man can take pastor taiwo as he was fondly called lost his charismatic first wife bimbo in the so-so Liso plane crash in 2005 she was uh, 45 years old at the time the death left the pastor who shared a well-known synergy with the wife uh, whom he had met at the University of Ibadan as an undergraduate, totally shattered. Pastor was more devastated by what people said after Bimbo uh, died than what actually happened. Many people said nasty things they said in his heart. He was touched by the savagery of the comments. Well, he had no choice and decided to move on despite the heartbreak. It took a lot of talking for him to decide to remarry. Uh, this was what the source shared at the time. And on November 9, 2021, uh, death came knocking on his door again. This time around, he took his second wife, Pastor Nomti, a South African uh, woman away. Nomti sadly passed on after cancer. She was 47 years old and had two children for the preacher. And they said if Pastor Bimbo's death was shattering, Pastor Nomti's demise was a technical knockout. It knocked Pastor down and out. It was inconsolable. He was very bothered about what people would say. It left him totally lifeless. There was nothing we could tell him. It took something deep out of him, and some of us became afraid for him. When he lost his twin sister a few weeks after his wife's death, Sorty said it was more or less the last straw. For someone who had lost two important women in his life, it was tough to take the death of someone with whom he shared his womb and childhood. It was a personal humbling tragedy. He would just gaze and seemed to become completely disinterested in things around him. It was unusual to become totally lost in conversations and issues. I believe something died in him at that point. He tried to put up a strong face for the church, but it was home and he died within and it was only a matter of time. That he lived for almost two years after I showed the strength of his character. This was what the family source explained and the health challenges which was then started showing up, knocking him off and uh, necessitating overseas medical trips from which he never recovered, sadly. A little bit about this highly referred cleric who was born on June 15th in 1956 and he was a pastor, the senior pastor of the Fountain of Life Church at Ilupeju, as earlier mentioned with a membership strength of over 8,000 people. This man was born in the city of Kaduna where he was also raised. He had a primary secondary school education at uh, Baptist Primary School, uh, Kigo Road in Kaduna, and St. Paul's College, now known as uh, Kofiona College, Usasa, in Zaria. Before proceeding to the University of Ibadan in 1996, where he obtained a degree in petroleum engineering in 1981. As a petroleum engineer, he started work at the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NAPC, in April 1982, after the compulsory one-year National Youth Service course came and served there until his voluntary retirement in January 1994 after his call to the ministry. In 1980, Odukoya met Bimbo Williams at the University of Ibadan, and the two struck a relationship that led to their marriage in 1984. That marriage produced three children. On 10th of December 2005, Bimbo, along with one or two other people, sadly passed on on the crashed Sosoliso Airlines Flight 1145. Bimbo's messages had been well and widely received by many people. On 5th of January 2010, five years later, Tabu got married again to Rosemary Simangel Zulu from South Africa. The marriage produced two boys. In November 2021, Udukoya lost his second wife to cancer, as Ella mentioned. And that pastor announced the death of his wife on 9th of November, saying that uh, the South African battled with cancer for the better part of two years. Tabu and Bimbo Udukoya, his first wife, co founded the Fountain of Life Church in 1992 with a stated vision to teach men and women the art of building successful relationships and the principles of leadership so that they can be who they are created to be. The church has several missions in South Africa, the United Kingdom, the United States of America, Switzerland, Kenya, Equatorial Guinea, Republic of Bene, Côte d'Ivoire and Togo. Udoke had proclaimed a firm belief in the role of the church and the community and expresses it through several outreach projects including 
a hospital, orphanage, school for destitute children, farm, water project which provides boreholes as strategic locations for people who have no access to clean and portable water, and a skill acquisition and entrepreneurial institute for the less privileged. On 19th of April 1997, Tawo Dukoya set up Discovery for Men and Discovery for Women, non-denominational outreaches to men and women designed to help them maximize their potential. These outreaches reach out to hundreds of thousands of men and women annually through quarterly rallies, mentorship programs, and a vocational center to equip them with technical and practical life skills. In 2014, nine years after the demise of his first wife, uh, he addressed the matter of the plane crash that made him a widower. He claimed that pastors are well advised to use private jets. Such aircraft better facilitate pastoral ministry and are a safer means of travel than commercial flights. Uh, we all know that a lot of pastors have been chastised as, as well for using private jets. But then this man is of the opinion that it is better after losing a stay woman. It is after many years and the intervention of many people that uh, Pastor Tawu Dukoya then got married again to the late Nom team. In a chat with the Punch newspapers, uh, the late pretty wife of this actor, the second wife, uh, revealed how she uh, met and got married to the pastor. She claimed that she did not envision getting married to a pastor. And I was, I did not know I was going to serve God in this capacity. I was against it because I thought pastors were responsible for people's lives. I believed it was a burden too much to bear and I did not want to be held accountable if people did not live according to the gospel of Christ. I felt serving God and supporting the gospel in whatever way I could was enough. I did not see myself in a leadership position in the country other than South Africa for that matter. And I written how they met, she said, he came to minister at Triumphant Church International London where I worshipped. I did not have my eyes on him because like every other minister that had come before him, I saw him as a man of God. I found his message amazing and absorbing. I even bought one of his books, Home Affairs. After the conference, my pastor told me someone was interested in me. I declined because I was seeing someone then. The relationship eventually did not work out and I found my pastor, but not immediately. To cut the long story short, Pastor Otawu had a stopover in London and that was the first time we met. Before then, my pastor had given him my telephone number and he had called me. When he proposed to me, I did not like the idea of getting married to a widower. I took my time, prayed about it and I became convinced it was what God wanted for me. Being married to him is amazing and it has brought up potentials I never knew I had. I don't have to pray and say, Lord, help my husband to go to church today. There is no struggle. And on being married at that time for five years, uh, she had said, I would be lying if I said I'm not snowed under. I think I'm just who I am. I focus more on God's expectations of me and my personal expectations. I'm wise and understand that God has given us people to help us. I don't overstress myself and allow people to assist when necessary. And of being compared to the least pastor being bought with Koya, she had this to say. Everybody's comfortable in their own skin. I understand that God has different qualities and purposes for people. All we need to do is fulfill our purpose and celebrate other people's calling. Fountain of Light Church is a wonderful one. They have accepted me for who I am. You would think I have been there forever. And sadly, uh, we are now seeing again the passing of the pastor, Taiwo Uduka, after losing these two amazing women and his own twin sister. Pray that may the soul of the departed rest in peace and may God comfort the ones, the loved ones that he has left behind.